do you know the future no he does he knows what you need and he knows how to set it up they set it up he knows how to set it up just the right way for you as long as you say it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott I thank you for joining us if this is your first time here we welcome you tonight I would like to talk about three things that successful people do and if you stay till the end I'll even share with you a fourth thing as a bonus all right we're talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today we know that in our dispensation he is God so in light of what we know that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words I say this every single week that I get on here being a success means being a success in that knowing the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him as God in the earth doesn't that make sense what better success could there possibly be than you walking with God in the earth so if you do these things it will cause you to be a success especially at walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today which will in turn cause you to be a success in all the affairs of life so if you want to be successful in this dispensation is the Holy Ghost dispensation if I want to be successful in this dispensation then I have to do these things so number one successful people wake up and worship God they understand the law of worship say the law of worship see we're designed as people to worship we worship something if you're a person you will be worshiping something you understand that it's a law it's how you're designed it's how you're built some people worship themselves some people worship food in fact Philippians 3 19 says that these people had their God was their belly that means they worshiped while their belly some people you can tell they worship their belly and they're good at it some people worship their careers some people worship science falsely so called they've tried to replace God with science right and in a way they're worshiping that they've replaced who they should be worshiping with something else you understand so let's go to first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 for they themselves show us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God so they had to turn from idols now idol would be an idol would be something that you're worshiping so if you're presently worshiping something other than God and like I said the law of worship is you are worshiping something then you need to turn from that to worship that word serve there in the King James is also translated worship it at other places in the King James as well as in other translations turn from idols to worship say worship worship the living and true God so whatever you may be worshiping you need to turn from that to worship the true and living God well we need to see real quick who the true and living God is wouldn't that be good to know if you're gonna turn to him from your idols and worship him we need to know exactly who he is second Corinthians chapter 6 let's read verse 16 and what agreement has the temple of God with idols now remember we were talking about people turning from idols to serve or worship the true and living God he says what agreement has the temple of God with idols for you are the temple say I am the temple you are the temple of the living God as God hath said I will dwell in them I will walk in them I will be their God they shall be my people so you are the temple of the living God they turn from idols to worship the living God here it says you are the temple of 
the living God well let's see who the, you are the temple of first Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 know you not that you are the temple of God sounds just like the other verse right you know you not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you the other verse said that the Living God dwells in you here it says the Living God is the Spirit of God are you getting this so who's dwelling in you the Spirit of God who is the Spirit of God he's the Holy Ghost who did the who does the Bible say we're supposed to turn from idols to worship the Living God who is the Living God the Holy Ghost who are we supposed to worship the Holy Ghost number one successful people wake up in the morning and worship the Holy Ghost so we can see clearly clearly from the scripture that the Spirit of God is the Living God and we're supposed to turn from other idols or other things that you're worshiping to worship him you know people wouldn't have a problem with it if you just said I worship God or I worship the Living God they go oh, that's good that's good but when you say I worship the Holy Ghost somehow that just that affects them wrongly simply because they haven't been taught to worship the true and living God hmm anyway number one successful people wake up in the morning and they worship the Holy Ghost get this straight it should be your first priority as a temple of God are you a temple of God yes so your first prior say my first priority so I getting up I'm getting I wake up I get out of bed did, did when did I turn into a temple of God when did that happen before so even before I got up but as I got up my first function my first priority in the earth today in this dispensation is to be a temple of God and what should my first priority be is to worship God what do you suppose a temple of God should do worship God so what should the first thing that you do when you get up as a temple of God you woke up as a temple of God your eyes opened and you said I worship you Holy Ghost in fact you don't have to you know recreate the wheel use those words I worship you Holy Ghost and when you use those words out your mouth which is part of your temple and you say I worship you Holy Ghost you are fulfilling your number one purpose which is to worship God the Holy Ghost whose temple you are isn't that the function of a temple for the worship of the one that he's a temple of yes thank you very much you can't be successful if you're out of order worshiping him or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost puts you in the proper order you're stepping out of bed onto the right foot I hope this is making sense to people and I know it is I stepped out of bed I put my foot on the ground and I said I worship you Holy Ghost I woke up as a temple of God and I fulfilled my number one purpose by saying I worship you Holy Ghost are you getting this when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it begins to rewire you say rewire me rewire you into this present dispensation because this is the dispensation of the Holy Ghost I hope you understand that anything else is out of order it's out of dispensation you could say it's not right you're out of order if I had a gavel here I could you need to be in order what is the order you are the temple of the Holy Ghost and you worship him as God in the earth today so the number one key is worshiping God the number one thing that successful people do in this dispensation is worship the Holy Ghost now we all know it's very easy to get caught up and do other things even right from the first get-go in the morning you go oh I'm gonna worship the Holy Ghost later or oh, I'm gonna confess the word later oh I'm gonna pray in tongues later and then it goes on the rest of the day goes on say the rest of the day goes on and then towards the end of the day you think oh well, oh, well I don't didn't really have any time I'll do it tomorrow that's why I say when the first thing you wake up if you want to be in order you make a priority out of it you say those words 
I worship you Holy Ghost and you begin to go down the right trail now listen this is the Holy Ghost said this to me he said just as easy as it is to get caught up in the day and not fulfill your purpose it's just as easy to do it the right way and to get caught up in your purpose it just it just matters what foot you step out on are you here I'm not giving you some thing that's very difficult you simply need to wake up to the realization that I am the temple of God and I worship you Holy Ghost it doesn't take that long but I'd be I'm beginning on the right trail and I'm talking about three things that successful people do so we're starting the day on the right foot which means we're gonna end up in the right place if we start the day on the wrong foot and oh well I didn't worship God you're gonna get down halfway through the day and you're gonna be in the wrong place and you're gonna be playing catch-up nobody likes to play catch-up we might as well get going in the right direction you're setting yourself up for success you think God wants his temple to be successful yeah you're setting yourself up for success uh, we start the day we're starting on the right foot and we go I worship you Holy Ghost now I recommend and I'm gonna say these things because that's what this message is about three things that successful people do I'm gonna recommend that right in the beginning of the day you take two minutes say two minutes and worship the Holy Ghost what do you mean worship the Holy Ghost for two minutes I mean for two minutes and two minutes is not a long time shame on you for thinking that oh I don't have two minutes you have two minutes use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you say I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and you're gonna do that for two minutes you are fulfilling your purpose using your mouth and worshiping the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and you're fulfilling your purpose as his temple does this make sense successful people do this and if you do it every day you can make a habit out of it you understand so you're starting out your day you know who you are who are you temple of God you know who you're a temple of the Holy Ghost because he's God in the earth today you see how this is getting better you're starting out on the right foot first John 4 4 says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world well you're gonna be stepping out and going into the world aren't you who's the greater one in you the Holy Ghost we've already covered that you're a temple of God now you're going out into the world to be an overcomer as a temple of God with the greater one in you this is what successful people do number two successful people know how to walk with God so you got up in the morning you know you're a temple you you start to worship the Holy Ghost as God now number two you're gonna know how say how how to walk with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today successful people know how to walk with God they walk with God by saying his words Amos chapter 3 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed well the two that are walking together is the Holy Ghost and you or you and the Holy Ghost say it's just me and the Holy Ghost you're in the earth you're his temple he's in you you're gonna walk with him how can two walk together except they be agreed the word be agreed or the words be agreed literally mean say the same thing so we've learned over the many years the way we walk with God is by saying the same thing say saying the same thing successful people know how to walk with God is by saying the same thing well how are we gonna know what to say you say how do we know what to say that's in agreement with God because we need to be able to say the same thing well thank God he has given us this book and we know that according to second Peter second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture right is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost 
so you say how are we gonna how are we gonna say the same thing that the Holy Ghost said we will be saying the same thing that the Holy Ghost has already said we know what he already said that would be the scriptures so talking about how to be successful Psalms chapter 107 let's look right at verse 2 let the redeemed of the Lord say so what are they gonna be saying they're gonna say they're the redeemed of the Lord see whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy he has already redeemed he's already said you're redeemed can you see that can you understand that this is something he's already said it's in his scripture so we simply need to take that scripture and put it in our mouth and we as the temple of God will be walking with God in this verse of scripture right in agreement with God let the redeemed of the Lord say so what are they gonna say they're gonna say that I'm redeemed of the Lord when I do that I'm walking with God successful people know how to walk with God by speaking in agreement with his known will are you getting this Psalms 103 verse 4 says who redeems thy life from destructions remember he said let the redeemed of the Lord say so here he tells you what you're redeemed from who redeems thy life from destruction so what am I gonna do to walk with God I'm gonna say that I'm redeemed from destructions when I say that I'm walking with God and I'm fulfilling my temp my purpose as a temple of God we can also look at verse 1 bless the Lord O my soul all that is within me bless his holy name bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all thine iniquities who heals all thy diseases if his word says he forgave all my iniquities what do I say about it if I'm gonna walk with God as a successful person I'm gonna have to say that he forgave all my iniquities says he who heals all thy diseases if I'm gonna walk with God as a successful person what am I gonna have to say the same thing he heals all my diseases successful people are healed people successful people are delivered people successful people are forgiven people he goes on to say redeems your life from instructions crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercy satisfies your mouth with good things so your youth is renewed like the Eagles what are you gonna say about that I mean what are you gonna say about it my youth is renewed and when I say that my youth is renewed I'm hoping you're getting this I'm hoping you're hearing it when I say my youth is renewed I am successful because I'm walking with God in youth renewal 2nd Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 all the promises of God who the Holy Ghost get that straight all the promises of God in him are yes and in him amen what does that mean that means all of the promises say all of the promises all of the promises that you can find in here God has already said number one we've covered that it's his scripture he said it he but he said yes to it no respecter of persons he says yes to you God the Holy Ghost says yes to you concerning that promise what are you supposed to do about it to which we say amen and amen simply means so be it unto me say so be it unto me so if God in his known written word will has said certain things and we know he said has all the promises yes if we're gonna walk with him as a successful person we're going to have to say the amen or so be it unto me when he says by Jesus stripes you were healed I have to say by Jesus stripes I was healed and I begin walking with God are you here successful people know how to walk with God saying say walk with God saying now you've already gotten up in the morning you already spent two minutes worshiping the Holy Ghost by using the words I worship you Holy Ghost then you should start in on saying some things we have these things called confessions it's a list of a bunch of verses that God has already said yes to and then it's put in the first person so you can just say it right are you here I will put the links down below and you can go download that for yourself these just doing these takes me about three minutes if I just go and say them 
now I've woken up in the morning and I've worshiped the Holy Ghost for two minutes and I went and I spoke in agreement with God for two minutes for three minutes how many minutes is that that's five minutes in five minutes I've already started out on the right foot and begin to uh, go in the right direction of the day and my pr priorities are straight how would you like a new habit that caused you to be successful takes 21 days can you spend five minutes in the morning for 21 days I think you can and I'm not saying that you only have to do it for five minutes but I caution people because sometimes we get a little overzealous go I'm gonna worship the Holy Ghost for 45 minutes and then I'm gonna do confessions for a whole hour well the problem with that is not that there's a problem with it that would be great but the problem is it you probably won't do it every day and it won't become a habit you need to do it every day habitually say habitually and habitually becomes a habit are you here I want to make sure you're here we're gonna worship the Holy Ghost right and then we're gonna speak in agreement with his word by doing our confessions the third thing that successful people do in our dispensation is speak the unknown will of God well, what do you mean speak the unknown will of God well the first thing that the Holy Ghost enabled us to do on the day of Pentecost Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and what's the first thing they were all filled with the Holy Ghost he, so he came into the earth they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began say began they began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance so the first thing the Holy Ghost enabled people to do and we call that the initial evidence of receiving the Holy Ghost is they're able to begin to speak in other tongues mean not known to them as the Spirit gives them utterance well therefore I'm speaking the unknown will of God because I don't really know what I'm saying unless he gives me an interpretation of that tongue which generally isn't the case but I'm speaking his will the unknown will and it's the third thing that people successful people do is they speak daily say daily the unknown will of God I've worshiped the Holy Ghost I'm in this dispensation I speak the known will of God I've done my confessions that took all of five minutes now I'm gonna speak in other tongues as he gives me utterance and of course you know I'm gonna say I, I try to get people to do a lot more than that but start out with five minutes they start out with five minutes well that doesn't seem like enough time yeah but you know what it's more time than probably you have been doing and it also gets you going in the right direction which we have another law called the law of motion and meaning when a body gets in motion it tends to stay in motion and if you start the day off on the right foot worshiping the Holy Ghost doing your confessions and then spending five minutes praying the unknown will of God then that's gonna continue you're gonna continue on in that direction and in that vein it gets much easier and I'm not saying that you have to stop there I'm just cautioning you you're better off to start with that and do it habitually for 21 days and continue that and increase it slowly over time than to go all gangbusters and then drop it after a day or two because you can't do it besides I'm talking about what successful people do every day say every day every day every day I pray in tongues every day and every day I worship the Holy Ghost and I use the words I worship the Holy Ghost every day and every day I confess the Word of God it takes me three minutes just do it get up and do it the problem is is you're not putting it as a priority right at the beginning of the day because if you put it as a priority right at the beginning of the day you are going to be able to do it even more throughout the rest of the day because you're on the right foot you aren't playing catch up anyway habitual success number one we've worshiped God we've spoken the known will of God we've spoken and claimed and called and declared that I am that which the Holy Ghost has already said and number three successful people in our dispensation say that in our dispensation you understand they didn't do that in past dispensations in our dispensation we get to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance which is the 
unknown to us will of God you understand it's not unknown to him you weren't speaking in tongues and he went huh Oh, I didn't know that no he's the one giving you the things to say which helps you to be able to declare and claim and speak and call things into existence that you don't even know about yet do you know the future no he does he knows what you need and he knows how to set it up say set it up he knows how to set it up just the right way for you as long as you say it Jude verse 19 these be they who separate themselves sensual having not the what they have not the spirit so he's gonna he's gonna go on to say what people that do have the spirit will do right they have not the spirit well those who have the spirit, verse 20 but you you meaning you have the spirit but you beloved building yourselves building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost praying in the Holy Ghost we know that to be praying in other tongues or praying the unknown will of God but here he says you're building yourself up on something so we've already started off the day as a temple of God worshiping the Holy Ghost and then we said our confessions speaking in agreement with God now we're gonna build ourselves up on that you see you're building on something say I'm building on something yeah you're building on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost the third thing successful people do is they spend time praying in other tongues or praying in the Holy Ghost building themselves up on their most holy faith we build up from there Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the Spirit meaning the Holy Ghost also helps our infirmities now that word infirmities could mean sicknesses it could mean weakness it could mean lack it could mean inability you understand if you had an inability to do something the right way that would be a weakness that would be an infirmity so the Holy Ghost is gonna help your weakness or your inability for and he's gonna tell you what the inability is we know not what we should pray for or say for as we ought if we knew how to say for something as we ought we would have already said it with the scriptures and our faith but the Holy Ghost is gonna help us to say things that we we didn't know how to say we didn't know how to say it the right way you suppose he does yeah he knows how to say it the right way how's he gonna say it you say the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings that we could not utter he's helping us to say the things that we were in able to unable to say or too weak to say or too ignorant to say are you getting this he's helping us say the things say he's helping us say the things what things the things you need to say you understand that's how everything's done in the earth today right by saying words so we've gone as far as we could go speaking the known will of God and along comes the Holy Ghost gives us this language now we can speak beyond our known understanding and into the unknown which means into the future successful people speak the future successful people speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost and he's able to say things beyond what they could do right now so it comes to pass we're built up on our most holy faith we're calling things we're going beyond what we could utter by ourselves. listen we're going on beyond what we could utter the known will and he knows what you don't and makes intercession accordingly he speaks up those things on your behalf and it goes on to say here he uh, uh, he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to the will of God so he's saying the will of God or when we're speaking in unknown tongues he's able to say through us the will of God and the plan of God beyond what we know verse 28 and we know 
all things work together for good when do all when do we know that all things work together for good after we've spoken in tongues say I know all things work together for good for me after I speak in other tongues when do you know you know after is this any good well what if I don't know yet then you need to speak in tongues more one of the keys is you can pray in tongues until you know you pray in tongues and you pray in tongues and you pray in tongues then all of a sudden you know that all things are working together for good for you if you don't know yet you need to keep praying until like uh, dad Hagen used to say you have a note of victory oftentimes you'll be praying 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 and all of a sudden you'll just begin to laugh you'll have a note of victory does this make sense and then you know that you have it I know all things work together for good for me I know you, you pray in the spirit and then all of a sudden you know all right you getting this successful people these three things successful people do they worship God they speak the known will of God because that's how you walk with God is by saying things in agreement with him and then the third thing that successful people do is they speak the unknown will of God I said you could worship God for two minutes then you could do your confessions takes you about three minutes and then you can speak in tongues for at least five minutes say at least five minutes I'm not telling you, you got to stop there and often you won't want to stop at any one of these things because you've started off on the right foot you started your your morning out as a success the law of motion will help you continue throughout the rest of the day you know the devil can't come up to you can he later on in the day and say you didn't worship the Holy Ghost you didn't do your confessions you didn't pray in tongues yes I did so you're likely to continue you can do more but we're talking about starting the day like a successful person now it's time for the bonus I said I was gonna give you an extra one now in this 3 by 5 card I've written a scripture it happens to be Isaiah 48 17 it says the Lord my God teaches me to profit and leads me by the way that I should go successful people have learned what I call the faith feedback loop the faith feedback loop is when you say a word of God what happens I hear a word of God what happens when I hear the word of God faith comes if you look we're in Romans there go to Romans chapter 10 verse 17 so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God so as I say the Word of God I hear the Word of God it goes down in what happens faith comes first John 5 4 says faith is the victory that overcomes the world how am I gonna overcome a situation by faith coming what if I don't have enough faith then I need to hear it more so what I do with this three by five card because I've already done the other three things this is number four I'll take this card with me I'll put it in my pocket I'll put it on the desk when I go go to work at the desk when I go to get a coffee I take it with me but I'm just gonna say it throughout the day say say it throughout the day and as I say it throughout the day as a successful person I know that the Word of God itself has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth this is a word that has already come forth out of his mouth it shall not return to me void or without profit but it shall accomplish that which I please it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it what shall do that the word itself I'm not so concerned about me I'm just concerned about putting this word in my mouth so it gets in my ear and goes down in my heart and produces itself say produces itself it produces itself in my life Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth if it doesn't depart out of my mouth where is it it's in my mouth this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but it'll be in your mouth thou shalt meditate therein in the word meditate the literal meaning is to mutter thou shalt mutter 
or meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success right there you should underline it that is the only place that the word success is written as the word success in the Bible obviously it's implied many other times but the word success is right there how's it how success gonna happen what is a what's the number four thing that a successful person would do is they would mutter the word day and night and the best way to do that is to write it on something and just cause yourself to say it over and over again it's as easy to get going in the right direction with your day as it is to get going in the wrong direction you begin the day right in the right order and with the right priorities and you've set yourself up for success. So